हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर एन बी भोगनर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड प्लांट पैथोलॉजी वर्किंग इन केकेवा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक वेलकम यू ऑल इन टूडेज सेशन इन लास्ट सेशन वी स्टडीड मेथड्स ऑफ डिटेक्शन ऑफ प्लांट डिसीजेस एंड नाउ वी विल बी लर्निंग हाउ टू कैलकुलेट और मेजर द लॉसेज कॉज ड्यू टू प्लांट डिसीजेस सो what are other points which we are going to recover first that is a requirement so plant disease requirement measurement methods should meet the some requirement some conditions then what is the aim or why to study measurement methods then the different methods of plant disease assessment what is disease incidence what is its procedure formula and we will solve one example and last but not least that is conclusion let's see requirement in this we are going to see what uh, conditions or requirements are there for measuring the losses caused by plant diseases first one we must know the growth stage of that particular plant then we must have knowledge about the particular plant disease then for assessment of that particular disease we must have the standard diagrams of the disease then compare or observe the disease with the diagrams and yield of the crop then for calculating the disease severity uh, with crop loss next why disease measurement why to measure the disease what is the aim that is need to study the epidemiology that I, that is the favorable conditions required for the disease development that is temperature humidity rain etc then it is also essential in case of fungicide manufacturing firms to develop the efficient molecules or efficient fungicides then for plant breeders and academicians to evaluate the develop or develop resistant varieties it is also important uh, for developing or uh, determining factors which governs the incidence and severity then in case of uh, disease forecasting it is uh, useful to develop the forecasting system for different diseases for different crops then it is also needed for the prevalence and extent of damage that means the proportion or number of disease plant or percentage damage caused by a disease then for developing suitable effective management strategies against a disease let's see introduction disease is measured in terms of intensity and uh, it is expressed either as a disease incidence or disease severity and calculated the unit is percentage and whether to go for incidence or severity it depends on the type of disease and the objective methods of disease assessment first that is the assessment it is for the systemic disease systemic disease in which the infection spreads throughout the plant so the systemic disease examples that is virus uh phytoplasmal disease smut green ear then uh, root rot wilt damping of some examples are shown in the ppt slide then next one that is procedure how to calculate the disease incidence first you have to calculate the total number of crops or plants in the field then calculate the disease plants then put the both values in the formula that is percent disease incidence which is equals to number of diseased plants upon total number of plants observed multiplied by 100 next is the suitability that means uh disease evaluation as per the disease incidence it is suitable for which diseases and uh, which conditions then the diseases in the early stages are uh, suitable then uh, 
as we already discussed it is suitable for the systemic diseases which affect the whole plant that is viral disease wilt smut and fruit rot etc and it uh, generally tells about or give idea about the prevalence that is number of disease population in a particular area or the number of uh, diseased plants here is the example that is uh, we have to calculate the percent disease incidence of uh, leaf calling tomato in which 50 plants are observed and out of which 8 plants are infected so put out the values in the formulae and then uh, calculate and uh, please mention the answer in the comment box let's quickly conclude what we have studied we studied requirement need and different methods of plant disease measurement and in that we studied disease incidence method in detail also learn how to solve the example of it thank you hope you enjoyed it see you in the next session that is disease severity method and don't forget to mention the answer of percent disease incidence in comment box Thank you.